Hello everyone, welcome. Today we will prepare our Mac to flash Android custom ROMs. If you want to flash custom ROM, you need a platform tools file, ADB, and Fastboot. So in this video tutorial, I will show you that topic. First of all, go to your favorite browser and search for Android Studio. Then go to the first link that Google is showing, or you can follow my link that is given below in the description box. After opening the official home page, take a look and search for the Android Studio tab, then click on that. Inside the Android Studio, click to the SDK tool. Inside the SDK tools, look for Release Note of Platform Tools. We can find our link there. Select the one that is for Mac. Download it, it's our file. You can see some terms and conditions. Huh, I know. Just scroll down and accept it to download. As you can see, my file is downloading. Wait for this to download, then we have to work something up to prepare our Mac. Actually, it's the only possible way to flash custom ROMs via Mac operating system. We just need to gather files and pack it up. If you want a video of the full process of flashing, then just leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe. Open your downloaded platform tools folder and see if there is ADB or Fastboot are available or not. If not, just re-download it. Give me another view. Open up terminal, ah, uh, we are now hackers. Just type some codes with me, you know. Firest of all type CD and drag and drop your platform tools folder because we need to work in the platform tools folder. By doing this, we can use platform tool. I have connected my phone with my PC via USB cable. Make sure that your device has developer mode turned on and USB debugging is on. In the terminal, always use this symbol. Otherwise, this will not work at all. As we can see, there is an issue. Well, that's not a problem. Try again. Mac OS doesn't want us to do it. That's why it is showing. But don't worry. It will work perfectly. As you can see, ADB is detecting, so our process is perfect. Just play around with it. For your safety, let's try again. There you see, first it shows error, then it's working just fine. Now I'm booting my phone in fast boot mode. I turned off my phone and pressed the minus volume button and power button at a time. After it's in fast boot, let's try to detect my device in fast boot mode. Just type the symbols and type fast boot devices to show. First it will show some errors we know, then it will work. No worries. There you go. Share this to your friends.